Hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne. Please welcome your hosts, Harrison Uadad and Cody Simpson. I told you, I wear blue. You're not allowed to wear blue, okay? What do you mean? This is what they gave me. Who was it? Who was it? Jared, Jared or Melissa? Jared. 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 Listen, all right, next ad break, you're getting changed. Fine, okay? whatever. Fine, Let's okay. just, all right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Fine, all right, ready? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne, and welcome to Hello, Hi, and Good Morning. I'm Harrison Hewitt Dart. And I'm Cody Simpson. No relation. Man, can I just say I'm so excited to be here off the sports desk at the, at the big kids' table, you know, right alongside you, Harrison. It's, oh, it's such an honour. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Cody. That's wonderful. Uh, coming up on today's show... No, seriously, this is insane, man. Like, and this, and this cat, <laughs> let me tell you guys at home, this is comfy. My bum feels so... So good on this couch. Yeah, <laughs> it's just. Yep, we, we get it, mate. <laughs> Today we're going to check in and see a world record being broken in real time. We're going to quench some thirst with an old friend's newest flavour and check in with a weather wizard report from our wonderful weather wiz Ella. We're going to dive in with a fragrant report on what's happening in the community. So make sure to stay tuned and find out my deepest, darkest secret about how I managed to age so gracefully. And finally, we're going to announce the winner of the Geelong Youth Music Competition. Can I, can I say the next part? <laughs> no, this, no, we can say it together. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, News it, flash. Okay. What was that? <sighs> I thought you were going to say it with me. No. What? Well, how on earth was I supposed to know you were just going to go it, for it? You got to wait for me. All right. Listen. Let's let's do it the same time. Yeah. All right. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. This is News flash. <laughs> Trial of the decade, the murder trial for infamous leader of the Cactus Bunch cult, Mitchell J.T. Gonzalez, has begun. The cult figurehead is facing three counts of murder after the infamous tennis court slaughter. In his opening statement, Gonzalez stated, You call it a cult of personality, I call it finding a way out of paying rent. He is expected to face a triple life sentence, but experts say he may be out in just three years due to good behaviour. You might have seen this story pop up on your news feed this morning. Federal erection. The US president this morning was seen leaving a meeting with the Prime Minister rocking a half chub. No one is to say exactly how the issue arose, but we'll keep you up to date with all the hard hitting details. Stunning stats. According to a recent study by the University of Melbourne, 80% of statistics are made up. Fight and flight, or rather, hide and seek? The US military last week unveiled their latest model of fighter jet which features reflective panels for stealth, allowing the vehicle to travel through the air undetected by the naked eye. Unfortunately, General Taylor from the US Air Force announced today that the military can't find exactly where they parked it, as the reflective panels were left on. The soldiers across the base have been searching for the last two days, but no one so far has managed to bump into it. One for the ages. The record for the oldest person to ever swim across Port Phillip Bay will be broken this morning as 96-year-old Maylene Down totes her togs and braves the bay. She swum in the Lawn Pier to Pub, the Tarfara Wharf to Waves and the Bondi to Bronte for the last 34 years straight. Maylene told outlets this morning that this will be her crowning jewel. We're crossing now to a special report where Ella, oh, she's the weather lady, huh? <laughs> right, is going to tell us about... It's moving... Moving too fast, I can't keep up. We're here today to witness a world breaking jog, the fastest time jogged around the CBD. So we're here with Stephen Marabliak, aka Lightning McQueen. Light well, well, more like the flash, because you know, I've got the red and yellow going on, and he's really fast, so yeah, I'm gonna be really quick. <laughs> Ka chow. <laughs> well, again, that's more, more like Lightning, Lightning McQueen. Well, I guess Lightning McQueen is still pretty fast, so uh, ka chow. <laughs> So what can you tell us about this foundation that you're currently jogging for? Yeah, so this is uh, focusing on children who are underprivileged, who've uh, you know, uh, been neglected and gone without treatment for most of their lives and 
uh, it's really tough for kids with ADHD to focus in the classroom and sometimes Ritalin or Adderall, it's, it's, it's not cutting it anymore. So what I'm doing is I'm coming out here, I'm going to try and break the record for the fastest time jogged around the CBD and I'm going to be raising money the whole time. That's can right. you tell our audience how they can donate and help out this wonderful cause? Of course, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to be live streaming the event on my phone. So the whole hour I'm going to be live and uh, if you feel like you want to donate make a difference in some kids life all you have to do is go on and follow my live stream and there'll be a donation link in there so you can follow along join in the fun and we're going to break some records together well i'm certainly excited to see how much money you can raise oh. now do you think you're ready oh i am more than ready to go all right let's get my live stream started up yeah we'll get the timer up all righty and we're live we're here with hello, hi, and good morning. Hi. This is their weather person, Ella. We are ready, my friends. We're gonna break some records and we're gonna change some lives, all right? Let's do this. All right, are you ready to go? I am ready, here we go. On your marks, get set, go. All righty, and we're off. Whew. All right, so barely even a couple of seconds in, but I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really confident about uh, no, I don't have any cigarettes on me, sorry. I'm just trying to break a record here. Bang, what? You want to get fucking banged? Sorry, what? I'm going to get fucking banged, What? Mate. I'll fucking bang you. Mate, no, no, finger bang you. Listen, bro, I'm going to fucking finger listen, bang you, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to finger bang you till you're finished, all right? I'm trying to raise some you're money to charity, right bro. Now. No, that's what I'm going to do. Till you're finished. No, please. No, please. I'm taking your watch. A lot of drink companies will throw out ridiculous claims like our products taste the best or all of our products are TGA approved. But only one of those brands can live up to those claims. Power Energy Drink have been a long time sponsor of Hello, Hi and Good Morning and personally, I don't know about you Harrison, but I can't imagine a better way to start the day than a can of POW! <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I, Cody. We've set up a little experiment to see how their latest flavour, Static Cherry, stacks up against the leading brand competitor. And all our taste testers have to do is tell us which of these drinks taste better and they will win a lifetime of supply of POW energy drink. <laughs> That's right, Cody. So, taste tester number one. Ready, set, taste! How was that one tasting? That was, that was pretty tasty. I'm getting some, some flavour. Wonderful, alrighty. And now for your second drink. Alright, how are we doing over here? <laughs> yeah, that, that's got to be static cherry. <laughs> She's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Isn't Taste tester one? number two. Taste away. Mmm, yum. Alrighty, wonderful. And now the second drink. <laughs> well, it's got to be something she's eaten the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Taste tester number three, you're up. Alrighty. Mm. Yum, that, that's, that's got to be Static Cherry. Like, that's really good. I don't think anything could beat that. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you taste the other one and see how it compares? <laughs> oh, I don't think... I don't think I've ever put a worse liquid in my mouth before. Oh, come on now. I uh, can't be tasting that bad. I mean, what? What are you, a double agent for the leading brand competitor? <laughs> here, here give, give us a try. Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, my. Well, <laughs> oh, wow. That's, oh, that's a little... Oh, boy. <laughs> How is it, Harrison? Oh, God. <laughs> It tastes like dishwater. It tastes like the colour red, and, and not in a good way. How is it spicy? It tastes like Shrek's gooch. It really can't be that bad. You stomach it then. Oh, oh god. 
Oh, it tastes like clean toilet water. Tastes like the library seat cushion. Tastes like it's gonna ask to take a picture of my feet on the bus. Like, uh -huh. It tastes like your feet. It, it, I mean, no one should be even watering their plants with this, let alone putting it in their body if it, they would like to go the rest of their life not knowing what its sumo wrestler's diaper tastes like. It tastes like a baby was baptized in it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Um. <coughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're going to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we're screwed. Yep. <sighs> Hi, Mum. Found yourself in a sticky situation? There's only one thing to do. Call Trust, Trust, Trust and Shibble Steinowitz. The best lawyers Melbourne has to offer. We are the best. They'll help you when no one else can. They know the law. You can trust us. Don't be afraid. Call now for a free five-minute consultation. We're there for you. Trust, Trust, Trust and Shibble Steinowitz. Welcome back. As we've proven time and time again, the show most certainly can go on. We've managed to get back in touch with Ella out in the field. So Ella, how are you holding up out there? Well, I am feeling quite all right now that I'm surrounded by beautiful nature. Now it is magpie season, so remember to keep an eye on the sky. But speaking of outdoors, today's weather is going to be sunny with intermittent clouds. A low of 24 degrees with a high of 28 degrees. Now if you have some opportunity to grab some sunblock and get outside and enjoy the weather, remember to slip, slap, slop your day away. Wonderful. Stay hydrated, Melbourne. Um, who is it that you've got standing next to you? Well, we've just run into Professor Boblin. He is a decorated academic and a professor of philosophy at the Snottingham University. What can you tell us about your bookstand, Professor? It must be such an honour for you to have an interview with me. Well, definitely an honour, Professor, but what can you tell us about your new book, Your World, My Oyster? It's the latest addition to my series of selfless philosophical books. It, they, they dwell into the soulless, empty husk humanity would be without kind and altruistic people. Uh, I, I presume you want an autograph? I'll sign this book for you. Well, it sounds like one important book. No, yes, it most certainly is. My theories are very important to hear. Uh, I'll, I'll send you an invoice later, but it's great that everyone in the world listens in to my point of view. Well, I can see the cover art on your book, and can I just say it is wonderful. What can you tell us about it? As you can see, it's, uh, it's my own exuberant figure, my happy eyes, my little smile. I'm like, I'm like an aura of academia, ability, sophistication, I am knowledge. It is like the library of Alexandria, this book. Well, what can you tell the audience here about some of the teachings in your book? Uh, kindness and altruism, altruism, altruism are great pillars of my book. Always be kind to people. It can be as simple as, yes, I don't know, giving up your seat on public transport or uh, yeah, leaving the last sip in the bag. Small, everyday things go a very long way. Well, can you explain to the audience how you use these teachings in your everyday life? As someone who's such oh, a big no, no, role... Heavens, no. What do you take me for? Some kind of selfless saint? Well, I'm... No detective here, but I do think that's a little bit contradictory. No, 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 it's my prerogative in life to share my very important selfless teachings. Why won't you mess us here? It's, 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 it's willful ignorance. Well, everyone, that was Harrison. Professor Bobbin. I think we'll cut back to you in the studio, Harrison. Probably a smart move, Ella. Earlier this week, we sniffed out Melbourne's number two fragrance icon and had a bit of a chat with him. Here's how that went. Welcome to our house, man. This may look like an idyllic home in St Kilda, but for Stella, it's her living nightmare. If we can't sort out the situation, the landlord will kick us out at the end of the month. The young St Kilda couple are several months behind on rent and the bills are stacking up. The source of the problem? Stella's boyfriend, Graham. <laughs> hey, hey guys! 
guys, it's Gramothy Fragrance here. Today we're reviewing some fragrances, man. One year ago, Graham quit his high paying IT job to pursue a career online as a fragrance icon. As of now, he has a total of 400 followers across his five social media channels where he uploads fragrance content daily. I just don't know what we're going to do. So Stella, how did things get so out of hand? He started watching some guy, Jeremy Fragrance, and it consumed his whole personality. When he worked in IT, his expensive hobby didn't matter. But now living on my salary, we won't be able to get by for much longer. <laughs> Jeremy Fragrance is a German perfume influencer. His polarizing personality, fashion sense, and random tangents gets his millions of fans coming back for more. After he quit his job, he converted his savings to some crypto called Munchcoin, and then he lost his access key, so we have nothing to fall back on. That's terrible. With no job and his Munchcoin inaccessible, how does he use his time? We decided to document a day in the life of a fragrance icon in hopes of getting answers for Stella. Uh, how I start my morning, guys. First, wake up at 5.45 a.m. What's happening, Fragrance Army? Not only does he dress like an idiot, he's coloured his hair to look more like his idol. How I start my morning? A morning run. Ice cold showers. <laughs> Torturing myself with loud music. <laughs> and then I spend the first hour on fragrance maintenance, polished fragrance bottles, doing fragrance inventory, everything fragrance. Self-affirmation, guys. Ich bin der Größe, ich bin der Beste, Power Baby! But self-affirmations is a difficult topic for me, guys, because, you know, I, I do it, but I don't, you know, and... And you know what's funny? You know what I did just five minutes ago? I, I stimulated my... Ooh, the parfum. This is masculine, fresh, aquatic. Like me, guys, that would have been popular 100 years ago, will be popular 100 years from now. Jeremy only drinks matcha tea. I have mine exclusively imported from my local convenience store. I want to tongue kiss a sexy woman right now. Ooh. The Prince tube next week. Yeah, but let me, I'm, I'm gonna get a sponsorship. Jeremy says to get 80% of your work done before you eat. But I have severe procrastination. One on the right. One on the gramity, gramity, gram. All right, guys, check it out. We're gonna break the world record for the most Aqua Di Dio sprays. No, you know the rules outside. We discussed this last week. Now, but this is for TV. Outside. Most sprays in a minute. With this new insight, we sat down with the couple. Every day I wake up and I feel like a superstar, man. I'm the number two fragrance icon. I'm Gramothy Fragrance, bro. Graham, you, this has to end. Is this all some joke to you? You need to get a proper job. Do you know how this makes me feel? To Graham, this all seems to be a big joke, but to Stella, things clearly have to end. Look, Graham, this, this clearly has to end. You need to get a proper job. How do you feel when you see Stella like this? When I have my red Ferrari and my golden Rolex, everyone will be happy. I am the number one fragrance icon. I am the best. Ich bin der Klasse. Ich bin der Beste. I am better than Jeremy Fragrance. We reached out to Jeremy Fragrance for an interview. We've received no response. Sometimes I hear voices down here. He's the most happy banana. Quality service and dirty heat You tell me! We'll beat any price at all! Micro scope collection. A few pieces missing. <laughs> that damn in quick! I a picture of my wife before she, uh, she left me in 2006. Don't be a duffer. Head on down to Timbo's! Shit. 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 What a tragic story. An in St Kilda of all places. Now onto something a little less tragic. Cody, how old do you think I look? Mate, I reckon you look a million bucks. Oh, well, well, thank you, but, but I, I, I meant how old do you think I look? Middle age? I don't mean guess, I mean look and use your eyes and <laughs> give me how old you think I am. Uh, uh, 
early 20s. Oh, stop it. <laughs> and Cody, do you know how I keep my skin looking so youthful? <laughs> I know, I know. Look everyone, it's Poppy. <laughs> what have you got to say this time, Poppy? Hello, Cody. Hello, people at home. I want to start off with a joke. Why did the gangster gorilla cross the road? To take care of some monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy, do we have a promotion for you. Get 5% off your first order of away edge cream. And for the low, low price of $59.95, how can you say no? Wow! Thanks, Poppy. Oh, the stuff on the... Yeah. Um, Thanks for that, Poppy. Uh, side effects may include skin irritation, drowsiness, and in some rare cases, no effect at all. <laughs> but just look at the results, they speak for themselves. Text HHGM to 2590, that's HHGM to 2590 for 5% off on your first purchase. Well, Cody, I think we should give it a bit of a try. I reckon you? so. Yes, all right. Well, let's look at that. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Look Lovely at that. Container, God, that is it? just gorgeous. Yeah, and we've also got it in uh, in our tube form as well. But uh, let's have a crack. Oh, wow, look at that. What a beautiful... Give that a whiff. Oh, oh, that's really nice. That's really good, actually. Mm. All right, well, we're going to start off just... Look, oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful surface there. We're going to... Yep. Thanks for that. Okay, uh, just dab a little bit on the finger here. On the finger. Oh, mm. kind of smells like sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll protect you. Yep. SPF 30 All plus. Right. Well, <laughs> we're just going to get a little bit there and a little bit there as well. And uh, get a little bit on the forehead. We're just going to yeah. really rub Don't it forget, in. You've got to really express the oils on this one. Yep. Right. Get right Thanks. down, right down. Thanks for that one, Cody. <laughs> All right. Just going to get that in there. Oh, I can feel the effect already. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. And oh, it just man. smells lovely, doesn't it, mm. Harrison? You know, you oh. just really get that. Mm. Oh yeah! You know? Yeah, <laughs> reminds me of summer a little bit actually. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Don't, oh, you got this bit <laughs> yep. up here. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Oh, wow, isn't that just gorgeous? And that feels amazing. It does. <laughs> I feel yeah. refreshed, revived, ready to go mm. for the rest of the day. And like you said earlier, I feel like a million bucks now. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, oh, that's not what you have to pay for it. Remember, no. 59.95. HHDM yeah. to 2590, 5% off your first purchase. How on earth could you say no? Look at this beautiful product. And as you can see, the effects speak for themselves. <laughs> well, we're gonna go to a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. Fresh, elegant, the only burong you'll ever need. Good parfum, smell like the city that never sleeps. Every year, Geelong spends its cultural budget on the Geelong Youth Music Competition. Every year, a winner is selected from the pool of talent Geelong has to offer. Small pool, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hi and good morning. I'm proud to announce that the winner of this year's Gimmick Award is... You can't be serious. <laughs> is that your brother, oh Garrison? My... That's your brother? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's Gazza the G with his latest track, Your Neighbour. Here it is. Feel free to cover your ears or even switch the channel. Well, thank you for joining us. See ya. Goodbye. Farewell. Sick ass and good deuces. Hi, my name is Gazza and I live just down the street. Gosh, it's such a treat to come and greet, to finally meet Ja. You're the new neighbour that's just moved into town. Well, I came to introduce myself. I live two and doors down. And for the neighbour. Consider this a little favour Coming over just to pay ya An introduction with some flavour Welcome to the neighbourhood Hope you feel like you're already home My door's always open wide Just feel free to come and pop your head inside You have never seen a neighbourhood like ours before And I promise there'll be weekend barbecues and more if you need anything, just feel free to go and give my phone a call. 
We should get to know each other. We might share some hobbies. You tell me about yourself after I tell you about me. Let's see. I play golf and I love Game of Thrones. I got a beautiful wife and two kids of my own. You should come around for dinner. Have a barbie in the Arvo. I'll show you my beast of a car. My silver Prado. I love to barbecue and I love to play ball. So if you ever need a friend, don't hesitate. Give me a call. Is for the neighbor. Consider this a little favor. Coming over just to pay ya. An introduction with some flavor. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hope you feel like you're already home. Like you're already home. My door's always open wide. Just feel free to come and pop your head inside. Come and pop your head you inside. have never seen a neighborhood like ours before. No, no. And I promise we'll have weekend barbecue. So many barbecues. If you need anything, just feel free to go and give my phone a call. Ring, ring, ring. Always up at 7.30 on a Saturday Ready to take the kids to their peewee soccer game Always happy to carpool Don't miss my local notice Driving we can listen to my favourite band Guns and Roses Oh sweet child of mine Brings back the memories Things were simple while I was growing up in the 80s We'll handle all the hot pipe snacks So thanks but we don't need her And we got plenty of space in our holding captiva Welcome to the castle Take your shoes off at the door I hope you can appreciate how a beautiful decor Got family photos all up my walls with ornate frames I got plenty of entertainment I just bought some new board games Don't be hogging all the shaved ham There's plenty here to share Would you like to play Uno? I've got a pack around here somewhere Have you met Dave? Hi. What a guy He lives just down the block Another glass of wine, how about some savvy on blanc? Come to the neighborhood, hope you feel like you're already home. Like you're already My home. My door's always open wide, just feel free to come and pop your head inside. Come and pop your head you inside. have never seen a neighborhood like ours before. No, no. And I promise we'll have weekend barbecues so to long. Many barbecues. If you need anything, just feel free to go and give my phone a call. Ring, ring, I'm on ring. the neighborhood committee, always looking out for vandals in my Prado, driving round the block while rocking socks and sandals. It's been good to meet you, friendo. I'm glad that we could make. Don't be a stranger. You can always call on Gaza down the street. Kids, how do I turn this off? <laughs> the snot gang.